Good evening, everybody, and welcome to this evening's weather update. So dangerous flooding continues across the Arklatex region this evening. And looking at this evening's National Weather Services, Weather Prediction Center's excessive flooding rainfall outlook, a moderate risk of excessive flooding rainfall continues across portions of East Texas through Northwest Louisiana into Southern Arkansas in the red, including Bryan College Station, the Woodlands, Tyler, Longview, Texas, Shreveport, Louisiana, into southern Arkansas with a massive slight risk of flash flooding from the Texas coast from Corpus Christi through San Antonio, Austin just east of Dallas, Houston into Baton Rouge, Jackson, Mississippi into Little Rock, Arkansas and just west of Memphis, Tennessee in the yellow and we have a marginal risk of flash flooding from the valley of Texas through the Edwards Plateau through Fort Worth into the Ozarks in the southeastern Missouri, western Kentucky, Tennessee most of eastern Mississippi and western Alabama in the dark green. So uh, we are having very dangerous flooding ongoing across uh, the Arklatex area this evening. So make sure you're turning around, don't drown, and staying safe. Looking at tomorrow's excessive flooding rainfall outlook from the Weather Prediction Center, uh, we have a moderate risk from uh, southeast Texas through central Louisiana, central Mississippi, into northwestern Alabama tomorrow in the red. We have a Beaumont, Texas, Lake Charles Lafayette, Alexandria, Louisiana, Jackson and Starkville, Mississippi, and just west of Tuscaloosa in the moderate risk tomorrow for the slight risk of flooding tomorrow. Uh, we have Houston, the Woodlands, Conroe, Bryan College Station towards Shreveport, Louisiana, and then Monroe, Louisiana, Baton Rouge, New Orleans, Louisiana, Gulfport, Biloxi, Mississippi, Hattiesburg, Mississippi, and then Tupelo, Mississippi, Memphis, Tennessee, Jackson, Tennessee, Clarksville, Nashville, Merce, Freeboro, Chattanooga, Tennessee, and Bowling Green, Kentucky, and then Huntsville, Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Alabama, in the slight risk of flooding tomorrow, with a marginal risk of flooding from Austin, San Antonio, through Little Rock, through Louisville, Cincinnati, Charleston, Columbus, Frankfurt, Knoxville, the Western Carolinas, Greenville, Montgomery, and Western Florida. And unfortunately, our flooding threat does not stop after tomorrow. Going into Thursday, a slight risk continues across Southeast Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Western Florida, Northwest Georgia, the Western Carolinas, into Eastern Tennessee, into Southeast Kentucky, Southwestern Virginia, and the yellow, marginal risk in the dark green surrounding that for Thursday. And looking at Friday's excessive flooding rainfall outlook, still portions of the Gulf Coast in a slight risk, marginal risk extending up towards Atlanta, Georgia, and around Oklahoma City. On uh, Friday, and even looking at Saturday, finally our flood threat subsides with only a marginal risk across portions of the Smoky Mountains. So taking a look at our current radar, looking at the last six hours, we've had rain training over southeast Texas, through east Texas, northeast Louisiana, into Arkansas, southern Missouri over the last six hours. And this is causing major flooding problems, especially across southeast Texas. As we take a look at some of these uh, crimson red colors, uh, these are rainfall rates of two to four inches per hour across some of these areas in southeastern Texas, including Flatonia, Brenham, Navasota, Huntsville, Extremely heavy rain is training over your areas and resulting in very dangerous flash flooding. And taking a look at our flood alerts, uh, I can actually show you some of these flood alerts that we have going on across southeast Texas. We have a flash flood warning for, uh, a, for Fayette County for two to four inches of rain with additional amounts of one to three inches over the next hour producing a life-threatening flash flooding. Make sure you're uh, seeking higher ground, turning around, don't drown. If you live across Fayette County and northeastern Gonzales County, south central Texas, we also have a flash flood warning. Uh, so this flash flood warning was is in effect until 10.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. We have another flash flood warning to the northeast in effect until 10.15 p.m. Central Standard Time. For southeastern Brazos County, southern Grimes County, northwestern Waller County, northeastern Washington County, and southeastern Texas, 
emergency management reported heavy rain producing flooding in Navasota. Cedar Creek Bridge in Victoria Street in Navasota is impassable due to water on the road. Between 3 and 5 inches of rain have fallen. Additional rainfall amounts of 1 to 3 inches are possible. Flash flooding is already occurring uh, and has been reported by emergency management. So if you live in these areas, seek higher ground. Do not attempt to drive through flooded overpasses. Moving up towards uh, eastern Texas in Lufkin. Flash flood warning until... 9.45 p.m. Central Standard Time for Angelina County, southeastern Nacogdoches County, southwestern Sabine County, San Augustine County, south central Shelby County uh, for 1 to 3 inches of rain. Additional 1 to 2 inches of rain are going to be likely. And then a flash flood warning uh, on the Texas-Louisiana border until 9 p.m. for southern DeSoto Parish. Natchitoches Parish, Northwestern Sabine Parish, Northwestern Sabine County, Northeastern San Augustine County, Eastern Shelby County till 9 p.m. for three inches of rain with an additional one to two inches possible. And then we have a flash flood warning in southwestern Arkansas till 9.15 p.m. for two to four inches of rain. A one to two inches are going to be possible in addition to what's already fallen. And then, uh, just southeast of Hot Springs, Arkansas, flash flood warning until 9.15 p.m. for a dam floodgate uh, released until 9.15 p.m. this evening. So make sure you're really, uh, please stay safe as we have flooding all over the place across portions of Texas, Louisiana, and Arkansas this evening with a broader flash flood watch across southeast Texas, most of Arkansas, most of Louisiana, most of Mississippi, northern Alabama, northwest Georgia, southern um, Tennessee, into southern Missouri, through th southwestern Kentucky, um, through tomorrow. Now, taking a look at the future to time out our rainfall. Uh, rainfall is going to continue throughout the evening as we see another round of very heavy rain move across uh, South Central through East Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas this evening and overnight. And going into about 5 a.m., we're going to be seeing very heavy rain in the Houston area, in the western Louisiana, northern Louisiana. And then going into about 7 a.m., very heavy rain across Southeast Texas through northern and central Louisiana, producing flash flooding in areas that don't need any more rain. Going into uh, noon tomorrow, very heavy rain across Mississippi, Louisiana, western Tennessee, northwestern Alabama. And watch how the rain just trains most of the day across Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama. With yet another round across southeast Texas tomorrow night, creating another round of flooding. So this is just a very dangerous situation unfolding for my friends across east Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, the Arklatex into Tennessee. Going, looking at the rainfall accumulations over the next 46 hours, uh, on top of what's already fallen, uh, we're going to be seeing another 3 to 5 inches across southeastern Texas with pockets up to 6 inches of rain across Louisiana, a widespread 3 to 6 inches with localized tolls up to 12 inches. Same with Mississippi, same with Alabama, western Florida. Uh, Tennessee, a little less of about 1 to 4 inches of rain but still flood-producing rain nonetheless across this entire area, looking at the HRRR model, looking at the NAMNES model. NAMNES model is even more aggressive on rainfall accumulations, bringing about 3 to 7 inches across East Texas, Louisiana, Southeast Arkansas, Mississippi, pockets as high as 8 to 12 inches in the high-resolution North American model as well. Very dangerous. Uh, Flooding is going to continue. And looking at our uh, weather prediction center, quantitative precipitation forecast for the next five days uh, across Louisiana, Mississippi, we are looking at another 7 to 10 inches of rain for many areas with across Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, northern Georgia, the western Carolinas, Florida, southeast Texas, another 3 to 5 inches widespread, another two to four inches across much of the Ohio and Tennessee Valley, and even up towards the northeast could be getting a good 
one to three inches of rain over the next five days, producing some scattered flooding up there. And the Pacific Northwest, another siege of storms, is going to produce another three to seven inches for many west of the Cascades and Sierra Nevada. So please stay safe if you live across uh, the south over the next few days as life-threatening flooding will continue. Uh, thanks for watching this evening's weather update. Please stay safe and have a wonderful evening, my friends.